What's up everyone and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and today we have an awesome power yoga break. So this falls under our Yoga for Weight Loss series, but this is really great for anyone who's wanting to create some quality of movement on their mat in a short amount of time. So we're gonna build strength, definitely work on core strength, maybe even sweat a little, but all in a very short amount of time. So focus on your breath, have some fun, and find what feels good. Let's get started. All right, gang, let's begin in extended child's pose today. If extended child's pose is not your jam, you're just gonna start in a nice, comfortable seat. Close your eyes. We're gonna drop right in today. So as promised, we have a quick flow. Squeezing it in, making time. But let's make sure that this time is quality time. So close your eyes and start to notice your breath. Let go of the day thus far and politely put on hold whatever you have to do later. Let's drop into the sound of the breath here as you deeply inhale and empty on the exhale. Set a little intention, something positive that will serve you in this present moment, maybe one word or a phrase. then a nice conscious breath in. Inhale your intention. Pause, hold the breath. Keep holding. And then release everything. Big exhale. Awesome, inhale, come up with that nice conscious breath and your intention. We're gonna come all the way up to all fours. Take your time, nice and slow. So we're squeezing it in with a quick power flow, but it doesn't mean that the energy of the practice is going to be frantic or rushed. Quite the opposite again, focusing on quality of movement. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest, and exhale, rounding through cat-cow. Inhale, drop the belly, big breath, big stretch. And then exhale, claw through the fingertips. Establish that now. Press into the tops of the feet. And now continue with this traditional cat-cow or start to find any movement here within this structure that feels good. So you're still working the spine, stretching the back body and the front body, but maybe you start to get into the sad body and the hips and the shoulders. I've been on the road and now I'm back in Texas, so there you have it. <laughs> All right, take this nice, easy movement that's fluid, that's yours and curl the toes under. And then we're gonna stretch through the feet by inhaling, looking forward, and exhaling, sending the hips back. Walk your fingertips a little bit further out so you feel this nice stretch in the side body. Breathe deep, breathe, breathe, breathe. And then slowly drop your chin to your chest, crown of the head towards the earth. Inhale to look forward, find length. Press into the pinkies. Exhale, chin to chest. Nose towards the navel, crown to the earth. Awesome, inhale, look up. Exhale, claw through the fingertips. This time lift the palms as you drop the chin, round through, crown to the earth. Stay here, breathe deep. Really pressing into the fingerprints. Awesome, then plant the palms, come forward, and make your way to downward facing dog. Take your time. Pedal it out. And then inhale, lift the right leg up high. Big stretch, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. <sighs> inhale, three-legged dog, anchor through the left heel. Claw through the fingertips, that pinky, and then exhale, knee to nose. <sighs> inhale, find length. Exhale, knee to third eye. Pause here, hold, breathe deep. Draw your right heel up towards the center of your body. Press away from your yoga mat. Again, knee to third eye for three. Two, one, and then slowly lower to the knees. Awesome, if you need a little break on the wrist, you can rotate the wrist one way and then the other. 
Awesome, then walk the palms out, curl the toes under and send it up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Find that external rotation in the shoulders. And then here we go. Inhale, lift the left leg up high, big breath. Lots of length, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, claw through the fingertips, no pressure on the wrist, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog, claw through the fingertips. Exhale, knee to third eye. So really contract, press up through. You're gonna really, really lift left heel to your center. Breathe deep, feel that heat, that shake. Awesome, and then slowly lower to the knees. Come to a seat just to take a little break off the wrist. You can take thriller arms, you can cross one arm over the chest. Just feel that flush of energy, that fresh blood. Hmm. And then we're gonna come back to all fours. Press away from the yoga mat. Now we just woke up the core, so keep the core alive and well here. Hug the front body up to meet the back body. Anchor, and then we're gonna send the right foot out long. Lift the right toes, turn them down. And then just a couple baby pulses to wake up the glutes, the hip, and find your foundation. Then inhale, send the left fingertips forward, and then exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach. This time, exhale, bend the right knee, take it into a fire hydrant. You can bring the left palm down, or to challenge yourself, you can bend the left elbow, and lift the left elbow up, lift the right knee up. We're here for five, four, long, beautiful neck, three, two, release on the one. Awesome, if you need to, you can come on to your bum for a quick second, breathe deep. And then back to all fours. Here we go, left side, left finger, excuse me, left toes go out, claw through the fingertips. Just spit on my mat. And then dial the left toes down. Baby pulses here with the left heel. Just get your front body rising up to meet your back body. Find that support from within. Find that danda. Engage, wake up the hip, the glute, the inner thigh. And then right fingertips are gonna reach forward. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose, nice and slow. Again, focus on the quality of movement. Inhale, reach. And exhale, draw the navel up, knee to nose. And inhale, reach. This time, claw through all your left fingerprints. You're gonna bend the left knee, bend the right elbow, bring him to the side, and then lift him up. Again, you can bring the right hand down if you need, just keep that fire hydrant here. Strengthening the back, the core, the glutes, the shoulders. Breathe deep. Five, four, three, two, and slowly lower on the one. Quick child's pose, send the hips back, fingertips forward. Inhale in, and then exhale to let everything go. Relax, take a break. Stay focused on the quality of your breath, the sound of your breath. Beautiful, then we'll rise back up, curl the toes under, and lift the hips up high, downward dog. Great work, here we go. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, knee to nose. Then step it all the way up. And you're gonna bring both hands to the left side of your mat for a runner stretch or a little lizard. Breathe deep here. You can lower the back knee if you like. Inhale to open the chest. Exhale to drop chin to chest. Inhale to open the chest, very subtle. Exhale to drop chin to chest. Beautiful, inhale to open the chest. Exhale to drop chin. And then this time, you might turn the right toes out just a bit, and you might start to reach the right fingertips all the way up towards the sky. Big stretch here, inhale, then exhale all the way back down. Great, frame your right foot, plant the palms, plank pose, here we go, step the right toes back. Breathe deep here, establish your foundation. Again, quality, breathing deep. Then you're gonna take the left fingertips and touch the right shoulder, plant it down, and then right fingertips touch the left shoulder, plant it down. And then back and forth, you can move at your own pace. Try not to move the hips. Just try. Zip up through the abdominal wall, gaze straight down. Keep it going. Keep it going, welcoming that heat. Awesome, keep it going. And release all the way to the belly, nice and slow. 
Drag the hands in line with the ribs, then continue to drag energetically the hands back. Suck the, suck the elbows in as you lift up Cobra. Press into the tops of the feet, big inhale, and then exhale to release. Curl the toes under, press up plank, and then downward facing dog. Awesome work, deep breath in, empty it out. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, knee to nose, nice and slow. Then step it up and draw both hands to the right side of your mat. You can lower the right knee down here or keep it nice and lifted for more strengthening practice. So keep your core engaged here, breathe deep. Then here we go, inhale, open the throat. Exhale, chin to chest, really contract through the abdominals. Inhale, right heel's really reaching back, open. Exhale, chin to chest. Keep the hips lifted, don't dump your weight down, keep lifting open. And last time, exhale, chin to chest. <sighs> then inhale, open, turn the left toes out, and then maybe you stay here or maybe you lift left fingertips to the sky. Big stretch, big breath. Inhale, then exhale, come all the way back. Frame your left foot, plant the palms, here we go. Plank pose. This time you're gonna come onto side plank. So right hand comes down and left fingertips reach towards the sky. Now you can lift the hips up here, both feet stacked, or lift the hips up with a little kickstand of the left leg up high. Inhale, reach for the sky, big breath in. Then exhale, send the left fingertips forward. Inhale to reach up high. Exhale to send it forward. One more time, you gotta inhale, lift up high. Exhale, send it forward and all the way around and down. Send it back up to down dog. You can take a little vinyasa here if you like. Belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog. Breathe deep. Beautiful, the navel draws up. We'll roll it through to plank. Second side, left hand comes down. Right fingertips go up as you stack the feet or again, bend that right knee and use the right foot on the ground for a little kickstand. Either way, everyone's lifting the hips up, spiraling the heart open. Zip up through the abdominal wall. Big inhale to lift everything. Everything goes light and up. And then exhale, right fingertips over towards the front edge of your mat. Inhale to reach up. Exhale over. One more time, you gotta inhale, reach up. Clawing through the left fingertips and exhale, reach over, around and down. Again, straight to down dog, or maybe you take a little vinyasa here, belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog. We'll meet in downward dog. Taking a deep breath in. And this time emptying everything out through the mouth. Awesome, slowly lower to the knees. Swing the legs to one side and come into Baddha Konasana. So the soles of the feet are gonna to come together and you're gonna keep lifting, lifting up from the pelvic floor. A little release on the wrists here if you interlace the fingertips and then draw down through the outer edges of the feet. Just catch your breath. Stay calm and focused. Awesome work. Slowly release the legs. Send them out one at a time. And you're gonna come all the way to your back. Take your time getting there. Move in a way that feels good. So no jerking yourself around. That's right, buddy. Interlace the fingertips, bring them behind the head. Yogi bicycles. So you're gonna focus on the quality of movement. This is our last bit today and then we'll relax. So take it nice and slow, focus on the quality of movement over the quantity of bicycles. So you're gonna lift the knees up, scoop the tailbone so the lower back is nice and flush with the mat. Inhale to look up, chin up. Exhale, twist, right elbow over towards the left and then you extend through the right leg. Inhale to center, exhale to twist. <sighs> Inhale to center, exhale to twist and then keep it going. You can take out the center and just go back and forth if you like. <sighs> Breathing deep. Keep the chin lifted, heart open. You got it, keep it going. Mindful movement builds strength and stability. Keep it going. Scoop the tailbone up.
30 more seconds. Ten more seconds, you got it. Three, two, and one, release. Bring the feet to the wide edge of your mat, the outer edge, and allow the knees to fall in. Take your hand to the belly. Inhale deeply, smile, laugh, sigh, curse me. Me, as in Adrian, not you. And release everything. Great work. You're gonna windshield the wiper, <laughs> got, got relaxed. You're gonna windshield wiper the legs to one side and then the other until your legs are all the way extended down, down, down. And then don't skip out on this moment, Shavasana, even if it's just for a moment in your corpse pose. If you're a guy or gal on the go or family on the go, a little goes a long way, but let's take a second to Say a prayer or put the proper cherry on top. Honor balance and stillness. It's beginning to rain outside. It sounds beautiful. Maybe you take in the noises, even if they are not beautiful or peaceful. Notice the peace you've created within and how you can just mirror that with whatever's going on around you. And then when you're ready, bring the hands together. We'll bring them up to the third eye, thumbs right to that third eye center, to the brow. The light in me, the awesome in me, honors the light and the awesome in you. Thanks for being here. Share this video with a friend who you think might like it, and I'll see you next week. Namaste.